what we've been experiencing the last several years, a, a lot of loss in our personal life, a lot for this community, and I have to say a lot for this audience. I know many of you here that have, I know for a fact that you've experienced some uh, profound losses recently, so um, I hope that this is a, a healing journey that we go on together. When I was making the record, the songs were coming and, and it was, became apparent that I needed to just sort of go in that direction. I was a little self-conscious about it, thinking maybe this is, you know, t too personal or um, will it be sort of depressing? Because <laughs> it could be, there's the theme. But, um, but it, my experience has been uh, through most of the loss that we've experienced, all of the loss, and the experiences that I've had with Swan Songs, my nonprofit, um, that the what I've learned and the way I've expanded and the transformation that has come from it has been um, as rich and as deep as the grief itself. So I've decided that it was uh, important to just express that and to let the songs come. So this is the first one especially sort of began it, and it's the last words that Chris's mom, Darlene, said to me when she was dying, and she was just so, finally so grateful to be able to be in her bed and getting ready to surrender after, you know, trying to rally for so long. And she just said, everything's beautiful now, and she started to let go, so this is written in her voice. Thank you. 